highly transmissible SARS-CoV-2 variant, known as the Delta variant, has now spread to at least 92 countries around the world, including to the US, where it's likely to become the dominant variant soon. It currently makes up around 20% of new US COVID-19 cases, which is up from 10% last week. So what is it? Officials first identified the Delta variant in India in October of 2020, and the World Health Organization designated it as a variant of concern on May 11, 2021. It's actually one of four variants of concern that's listed by the World Health Organization currently. The others are the Alpha variant, which was first discovered in the UK, the Beta variant, which was first found in South Africa, and the Gamma variant, first discovered in Brazil. The Delta variant, however, seems to be the most transmissible of them all. It appears to be about 60% more transmissible than the Alpha variant, and the Alpha variant in turn was already about 50% more transmissible than the original virus. The Delta variant carries 10 mutations that cause changes to the virus's spike protein, which it uses to grab onto and invade human cells, specifically to the ACE2 receptor on human cells. Three of the Delta mutations allow the spike protein to attach more easily to the ACE2 receptor. While it's pretty well established that the Delta is more transmissible compared with other variants, not much is known about whether it causes more severe disease. Early data does suggest that the Delta variant is associated with an increased disease severity. That data from England and Scotland suggests that a person is about twice as likely to be hospitalized if they're infected with the Delta variant compared with the Alpha variant. Dr. Anthony Fauci, the director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, said in a recent White House briefing that the Delta variant is likely the greatest threat the U.S. faces in its efforts to eliminate COVID-19. The good news is, however, that vaccines seem to work against the Delta variant, and Fauci and other experts are encouraging people to get vaccinated in order to protect themselves and others against this highly transmissible variant and others. CDC Director Dr. Rochelle Walensky said last week in an interview with ABC News on Good Morning America that, quote, I will say, as worrisome as this Delta strain is with regard to its hypertransmissibility, our vaccines work. Walensky also noted that high vaccination rates will reduce the chances that the variants have time to mutate and produce even more transmissible or severe variants. In a recent study conducted by the Public Health England, researchers found that Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine was about 88% effective against symptomatic disease that's caused by the Delta variant, as compared with about 93% effective against the Alpha variant. Similarly, AstraZeneca's vaccine was about 60% effective against the Delta variant compared to 66% against the Alpha variant. Fauci told the Washington Post a few weeks ago that Moderna's vaccine, because it's so similar in makeup to Pfizer's, that it will likely confer a similar protection against the Delta variant. And of course, Delta poses the biggest threat to countries that have little access to vaccines, such as many countries in Africa, where less than 5% of the population is vaccinated. And now, we also have what's called the Delta Plus variant. On Wednesday, India's health ministry announced around 40 cases of the Delta Plus variant, which is a sublineage of the Delta variant that has an extra mutation. That mutation is also found in the Beta variant, which is the one that was first discovered in South Africa. It's called K417N, and it's thought to reduce the effectiveness of a monoclonal antibody cocktail in treating the virus. Officials have identified at least 197 cases of Delta Plus in 11 countries as of June 16th, including 83 in the US. India has identified identified the Delta Plus as a variant of concern, citing that it's more transmissible than other known variants, it binds more strongly to lung cell receptors, and it might be less susceptible to treatment with a monoclonal antibody, but experts say that it's too soon to draw conclusions about this variant. Dr. Jeremy Camille, a virologist at Louisiana State University Health Sciences Center, said or told the BBC, quote, I would keep calm. I don't think India or anywhere else in the world has released or accumulated enough data to distinguish the risk from the so-called Delta Plus as being more dangerous or concerning than the original Delta variant. So that's a bit about what we know on the Delta variant and the Delta Plus variants. As we find out more and more data is released, we will be reporting on it on LiveScience.com, where you can find uh, extensive coverage on COVID-19 and the pandemic.